Hello friends, I am back. Look, I'm somewhere new today. I am on my outside front porch. It is almost fall or fall officially here in Virginia, so all of that greenery is gonna turn to vibrant fall colors here in a moment. I am doing a clean with me video today. We're gonna clean all kinds of things, and today's video is sponsored by Hello Fresh. Get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of Hello Fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code Large Family Table 80. So I wanted to start out today getting my porches swept off. We've had all kinds of ants and leaves and kids have been crafting. Been a busy time. I'm also getting my steps and just, just little messes that gather around, also going after our back deck. There were lots of crayons and color pencils. Again, crafty kids, crafty kids, and mama's got to fix her shirt every time I walk around there. So there's just mess on here that you don't normally, you don't see, but when you sweep it, you're like, oh yeah, there's mess. I need to get that off of there. Also, I got a shower. Yay, glory, hallelujah, towel on my head, but I'm ready to get cleaning. So now putting my math blocks away, also going to work on this kitchen. It wasn't in too bad shape, but I knew we needed to get some grubby areas. I'm just taking some bleach cloths right now and getting the high chair and the little table that goes on that and then wiping down my, still talking about it, brand new chairs from Ikea. We still have not cut them down. We still, how many times can I say the word still? We still are actually enjoying the height. The kids have had no issues with that height. Of course, I don't let Benjamin get up on those unless I'm sitting right with him. Some people have asked, why, do you, why does your youngest have a high chair? He's too big for a high chair. But you know what, he's two. And I need to put him in the high chair because he can't sit safely at the counter if I'm cooking food or doing something else. So he likes to sit in his high chair while the other kids are in these chairs and that way they can all sit together. So I'm scrubbing everything down because these chairs do show any little grubbiness. Dirty forest feet. Now for bonus points you'll get to see, I want you to look out for my dirty feet in this video. Now this is a real country woman for you. I did not realize how dirty my feet were until I went to record this voiceover. And it is because of course, I was just out on the front porch and out on my be back deck in my bare feet with the towel on my head, sweeping. And then I come in and I've got just, they're just amazing, be, be sure. So that'll be your little I spy game. <laughs> so here, just picking up odds and ends. Kids had just folded a bunch of laundry. And so they were doing other things at this time, and I'm just doing the tidying up around here. They left some coat hangers around, but that's okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm getting the Murphy's Oil Soap. I love using Murphy's Oil Soap on my cabinets and I have not done this in months and they definitely needed it. So I wipe off the inside of most of the cabinets, at least where crumbs fall, and I wipe off all the doors. And the area I'm getting is a high traffic area. That is like, I did not realize when we moved to this house what a beloved spot that kitchen counter would become. But one of the kids the other day was saying, like, well, this kitchen counter's just one of my favorite spots. I feel like we live, you know, our whole childhood at that counter, <laughs> whatever we were talking about. Just different housing configurations and stuff. They really enjoy the counter, which is sweet. Who, who knew how important a kitchen counter could be? But we do spend a lot of time there for a lot of meals and a lot of school time and a lot of chatting time happens at that little strip of counter. So right now I'm just taking the bleach wipes and going under appliances and things on my counter. But then I'm gonna go back and get the Murphy's Oil Soap going again. Now what I decided to do was to just put about a cap full of the Murphy's Oil Soap and I put it in a plastic container with some warm water. And that way I can clean my rag there and get back to my cabinets at any point. Just keeping everything fresh. It also works well on my wood stools. 
every once in a while I peek at the camera to say, hey, is this, am I even getting myself in these shots? <laughs> now I'm getting the ladder because I am only five foot four and I have to get the ladder to reach the taller places for myself. And on top of the refrigerator, always, I, I looked on top of the refrigerator for one moment and I thought, I could clean that off. And then I thought, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> so I just gave it a gentle wipe and I said, that was that. Already getting a lot done, getting the outside of these cabinets wiped off tonight. New oven is working well, but I had a sad experience with it already. I went to put my huge baking sheet in there the other night and wah, 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 it doesn't fit in the new oven. How sad is that? My medium size one does, but my two super mega large ones do not. Hey, there's a dirty foot right there. Uh, it just doesn't fit. Now the oven, that's the same size to fit the hole as the other one, but obviously the inside, it's like half an inch smaller in diameter. So sad, but oh well, at least, I mean, before I didn't have an oven that worked consistently, so at least I have that upgrade. You can see how much that cabinet wipe down was needed. Look how the Murphy's oil will soak water. That shows up, maybe you can see through there. It's brown. Cabinets needed a good wiping down. It smells good too. And now we're gonna tear into this HelloFresh. Now HelloFresh, when I do these fun sponsored videos for them, they usually send me three boxes and I make a meal for my family and then I will share meals with some other families who I know having convenient meals on hand would be super helpful for. And I've heard that, yes, we're gonna do hot honey chicken, yum. I've heard that from other viewers who've taken advantage of this HelloFresh deal. I've heard that they will also use these meals as gifts for people who would like to cook but maybe can't get out to the store for various reasons right now or just as a gift for a new married couple or as an in-home date night for couples. Just lots of fun ways you can use these HelloFresh meals. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious meals at home a reality regardless of your comfort in the kitchen. And you're gonna see, I learn a new trick from HelloFresh. I'm gonna share that with you here shortly. Break out of your dinner rut with HelloFresh's 20 plus seasonal and chef curated recipes each week. And I tell you, we all know I'm not a chef, so I appreciate these chef curated recipes for sure. And you can also easily change up your delivery days or food preferences or just skip a week whenever you need. If you're going on vacation, you can just skip your HelloFresh that week. HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving, and it is America's number one meal kit. Get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code LARGEFAMILYTABLE80. Okay, so what I'm doing with my HelloFresh, sometimes I just do one of the meals, sometimes I do all the meals, and sometimes I'll just do two of them. So my kids love their Tuscan sausage spaghetti that HelloFresh sends. I was cooking that up, and then I was also cooking the hot honey chicken with the potatoes and the broccoli. That's where I'm gonna show you the trick because I just knew it would make everybody happy. We also have several guests coming to our home the following day, and I knew if I had some leftovers, it'll just make it easy on me the next day, and that my family would certainly eat those leftovers up. So here's the chicken, and I am laying it out, and now it is a squirt of sour cream on top. I just thought this was such a great recipe, and this is easily adaptable. I mean, you could do this at home, with ingredients you already have on hand. Look how creative this is. And now I'm doing the, it was the breadcrumbs and more of that barbecue seasoning that they included. Also about two tablespoons of melted butter. And then I just pat it down. Now I put my chicken on top at first, but then the breadcrumbs started to cook a little faster than everything else. So I switched out, put my potatoes on top and the chicken on the bottom. And now I'm mixing in that fantastic sausage sauce for the spaghetti there. When I was first learning how to cook for my little family, that was one of my original pots. And you know what? I'm still using it. I don't think it's gonna get thrown away how my old funky skillet finally did after all those years. Okay, I'm interrupting this voiceover cleaning video. I've gotta get um, Benny some more of the Tuscan sausage and pepper spaghetti, he loves that. I wanna show you this trick to steam broccoli in the microwave that HelloFresh has just taught me. You can use it any way it goes, and I am so excited to try it, but 
Here's Benjamin. We can't keep him from his spaghetti. He loves this. Their directions say to steam broccoli in the microwave. I've never done this. I always do it on the stove. Uh, you put the broccoli in a large microwave safe bowl. You add in a teaspoon of water. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap. Poke a few holes in it. Put it in the microwave for one to two minutes. Then it says, of course, carefully remove plastic wrap. Watch out for steam. Drain any water left and toss the broccoli with a tablespoon of butter, salt, and pepper. Yay, let's do this. Okay, so there goes the wrap on top of the broccoli, and then I just poke those holes in it. Now what I did end up needing to do is I had to put my broccoli in for an additional two minutes, and that's because I was doing, of course, double what their original recipe was. When it said to steam them for two minutes, I checked it too, and they just still weren't quite done. So now I'm making up my plates. But I love this broccoli trick, and I'm definitely gonna use that again to steam fresh veggies in my microwave. And of course, I'm shoving potatoes in my face. What's new? So now I'm gonna tackle our homeschool room, dining room, everything room, whatever we're gonna call it. You can see my maps are peeling off the wall again. I'm gonna have to get something better to tack them down with. But I am picking up various odds and ends that were left out on the dining room table. Different plates, different cups, picking up papers, like I say, super crafty kids. Now if it is asked, hey, where are my kids, why aren't they helping? They help, it's okay. They do all kinds of things, we're a big team. This is just what I'm filming this night is you get to see my dirty feet running around doing pickup jobs here. But I'm just doing a tidy up in this room while the kids are doing other jobs and other things. Since so much crafting happens out here as well, more paper explodes. I'm fixing Daniel's puppy bucket. He loves that. They've been really into the hole puncher lately. So we have all kinds of little paper circles all over the floor. There you go, there's the proof. See all the little paper circles coming out. They've also been loving all the tape that I stocked up on. As I mentioned, even Daniel, he's been getting really into taping and gluing and crafting, so he gets it honest. All of his brothers and sisters have always loved a project, and my job is just to give them the materials they need to project and the time to do it. So there you go, that floor is all tidied up now. Now I'm gonna wipe down the desk here. Because it's white, it likes to get a nice little line of dust. I like the white furniture that's popular these here days, but it takes extra work to keep it looking clean. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go after the mantle. We've had, um. It's been like a chunk of wood that has a, a knot in it that I've kept up there, but it's just been dropping dirt and extra dust. So I finally put that outside. And then I'm going to wipe the mantle down. As I always say, don't know the last time I did that. It's been several months of this, since this mantle has had a good dusting. So I was glad to get it done on this evening. And then I had one of those LED candles that was left over from Vacation Bible School and I decided to put that in our pumpkin candle holder. The kids got a kick out of that as well. And then there's my seashells I found at the thrift store. You just find everything at the thrift store. And then my new picture from the thrift store is up there too with another Bible verse. Now my always be thankful pillow that I got at Hobby Lobby last year, it has held in there. I have to Defend its honor, sometimes I'll find it on the futon or in someone's bed and I'll say, no, 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 that's my chair. That's my pillow for the rocking chair. That does not belong anywhere else. So I'm just going through now and taking bleach wipes and dusting the front of my dream IKEA bookshelves. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Remember to get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code LARGEFAMILYTABLE80. Yeah, look through that window there and you'll see Amelia. She's up on the ladder now. She wanted to help wipe walls. <laughs> so she is wiping walls and trim and being a good little cleaner bee.